We have a new update now on the right to access abortion in North Carolina. Today, Democrats propose putting Roe v. Wade into state law. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from the legislative building where that bill was unveiled today. Laura. Dan, you know, ever since the U.S. Supreme Court threw out Roe v. Wade last summer, Republican lawmakers have here have said that they intend to pass additional restrictions on abortion this year. Well, Democratic lawmakers are hoping to basically put what's been precedent for about five decades into state law, but they're unlikely to ever get a vote on that. House and Senate Democrats are proposing to protect access to abortion by writing federal law for the past 50 years, Roe v. Wade, into state law. Senator Sidney Batch is one of the co-sponsors. Rather than sowing chaos, restricting reproductive health care, and violating women's bodily autonomy, we must trust women and doctors to make the decisions for themselves. However, Democrats are in the minority at the state legislature. The Republican majority intends to move in the other direction, passing tighter restrictions on abortion, possibly a ban at 12 weeks or even six weeks. House Speaker Tim Moore said the Democrats' bill probably won't get a hearing. It'll be assigned to a committee, and if a you know, majority of that committee wants to take it up, they will. But I don't anticipate a majority would want to take that bill up. Moore said he believes some Democrats will join Republicans in voting for a shorter time window for abortion and may even help the GOP override a likely veto by Governor Roy Cooper. Batch thinks that's unlikely. This is our baseline. If Republicans want to negotiate with us, they can come to our doors. They're always open. And we can talk about this being the floor and then us improving it. But going down is not what we're here for. Representative Becky Carney says even if the bill never gets a hearing, it still sends a message. We're hoping that through this, we're going to be heard by the people that matter. And that's the citizens in this state and most importantly, the women in this state. They're listening. They want action. Now, Dan, it's not clear when we'll see what GOP lawmakers will propose in the way of those abortion restrictions. House and Senate leaders say they're talking to their Republican members at this point just to see what they would support. I know you'll let us know when you find out. Laura Leslie, live for us tonight. Thanks, Laura.